return to the championship. Three months after walking through the door at the Stadium of Light. Full credit to Alex Neal and his staff for the job that they've done. These players who've not tasted defeat in February played to a game plan. The game plan has worked. Fans, we finally did it. We are going up. Thank you so much for your guys' support. I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. London is red. We're going to the champ. Enjoy your night. emotional to be honest um, obviously we lost three years ago so uh, we knew exactly well I knew exactly how it would feel to be on the losing side and don't want to feel that again um, uh, what a day best day of my career by far so you've been here through from the Premier League right down again so you know exactly what this uh, journey has been like how good is it to set them back on the right path yeah amazing uh, that was always my goal I'll, Obviously, coming through the academy, been at the club for 16 years. I, I never wanted to give up. I w always wanted to try and uh, get promoted out of this league. And uh, finally, we've done it. Uh, I've lost my words. How nice is it for a fellow academy graduate to go and score the first goal as well? Amazing, amazing. You know, there's a lot of us. Me, Pato, Dan Neal's on the bench. You know, a lot, lot of lads um, just came through the academy. You know, and. Um, 
I'm sure all the academy staff and all of our coaches are very, very proud of us. So seeing all these fans here today, did that really sort of push you on? Yeah, of course. We knew, we knew that everywhere we go, um, they're everywhere. You know, you, you can't go anywhere without Sunderland fans being somewhere. They're everywhere, and it's a massive club. And you can see that today. They were all around the ground. It was amazing. And now it's time to enjoy it. It's time to enjoy it. Do a message to the fans and the camera. Uh, just thank, thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. We've, we've been through it all together, so um, let's save it this moment. Squad and as a team that gave so much this season, uh, so to finally like, you know finish it with, with the promotion which we all wanted, yes, I've had speech since it's unbelievable. This club has obviously had a lot of heartache over the last few years. Describe the scenes that you're seeing here with the fans. Yeah, I mean you see how much it means to them um, the last three, four seasons. I think they've been suffering. They know a club this size doesn't belong in this division. So to be to be a part of a team that to get them out of that division, you know, means a lot. And days like today, as a player. It's one you remember in the career, and you know it's just unbelievable. Obviously, on a personal level, you've had a great season. To cap it off with a with a goal here as well, how does that feel? Yeah, <laughs> I'm struggling for lots. You know, in the world, uh, you want to, as a striker, you want to be involved in scoring these big games. So to do it and help the team to win in the world. You seem to really brace out the blocks today. Was that a conscious effort? Yeah, I just think. We spoke before the game, and I think that was part of the game plan. I think as a team, we handled the occasion really well. Early goal obviously has helped us settle and helped us kick on for them. And the second half, credit to Wickham at the start, I think. You know, they had their spell, they put us under a bit of pressure. And then when the game started to open up, they were then pushing it. It suited us a bit, suited our attack players, and you know, thankfully we were able to get the second. Obviously, you mentioned the fans, they outnumbered Wickham by a lot. Did you really feel that as you were playing yeah, on the field? The minute we came out for the warm-up, you, you heard the noise. Um, the fans have been immense for us all year. Um, none more so than today. They travelled in their numbers as we knew they would. And it's just great to give them something back. So just explain the influence of Alex Neal. He's only been here for a, a couple of months and he's obviously taken you to the Championship. Yeah, he's done an amazing job. Uh, I think when he came in, you saw us we've been hard that he beat. I think he's only had one defeat since he got here. so. You know, as players, we've got to give him massive credit. He's came in, he's done what we need to do. He's got the team promoted and we owe him a lot. Yeah, and obviously a tough team, Wickham, to play against, but you seem to really nullify their threat. Yeah, we know they're, they're big physical, they're very direct. So we knew what was coming. Uh, we prepared, you know, all week for it. And we just handled it really well, you know. They're still, they're still going to have their chances because they've got quality and good players. Uh, but thankfully, today it was our day. Now, Championship now. How are you feeling about tackling that division? I've not really thought about it yet. I'm just going to enjoy today, uh, enjoy the next few days, and then you know when we get back for two season, I'll maybe start to think about that. What are the celebrations going to be? Oh, <laughs> going to be good. I know that. <laughs> Thank you for taking me into their hearts. Thank you for me allowing me to be part of the journey. Thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. They know. They know, man. And and I, I'm proud. I'm proud to know him, proud to play with the boys, proud to be part of this club. So I can say this, thank you. This group, this club, there's no other club like it. The group's immense. It's, it's the definition of togetherness. And, and listen, they'll come back stronger, believe me. Wembley belongs to Sunderland AFC. Back where they feel they belong for now. And maybe not too long before they're back where they really believe they belong, and that's in the Premier League.
of them ones where you're so pleased for everybody connected with the club. You know, we've suffered as a club for so many years, you know, and everybody loves a fallen giant where they can sort of stick the boot in. And, but for us now, we've managed to get ourselves into the Championship, so hopefully this is the start of us sort of recovering. I guess when you came, this is exactly the uh, occasion you were dreaming of. Yeah, of course it is. You know, that's always the aim. But there's a lot of things go into that. There's a lot of hard work. You need good players. And you also need a little bit of fortune from time to time. You know, you don't get anywhere without a little bit of luck. But we take sort of confidence in the amount of work we do. And obviously the players we've got. So, yeah, listen, I, can't, I honestly can't be any more pleased for everyone. And how nice was it as, you know, a Sunderland Academy graduate who goes and gets the first goal as well? Yeah, listen, it was a hard call for me. You know, I left Jack Clark out the team to put Elliot in because he had such an impact in the previous two matches against Wickham. And I just felt by keeping in off the pockets and playing in the spaces, that was where we were going to try and win the game. And delighted when he got the first goal. It's handy when you've got a 20 odd goal striker up front as well, isn't it? Of course it is. He's been brilliant this year. You know, and fair play to him. He's, he's had to do it the hard way, Ross, and he deserves everything that comes his way. It seemed like you really braced out the blocks today. Was that a conscious effort to get out of them? They're always conscious efforts. You want to win the game, so get the first goal, sort of put them in the back foot, try and dominate the game, try and win. So, yeah, delighted. Obviously, the fans outnumbered Wickham by a lot today. Did you really uh, feel their support out there? Yeah, listen, I said before that, we did a massive disadvantage if our fans weren't here today. You know, and like I said earlier, that win, that game, that was for them. You know, because it's been difficult. They've came here, they've been unsuccessful before, and I hope they enjoy that. So now preparations for the championship straight away. Preparations for beer. That's my preparations.